Okay, I wanted to do a review of the Elk Mountain Tents that I got off of uh, online, elkmountaintent.com or elkmountaintents.com. The guy that I talked to, he was real nice on the phone. He said he's elk hunted for years, and he said that, that I'd be happy with it. I think the tent is made in China, but it's still done pretty well. I've never owned another one to compare it to, but from what I can tell, we just put it up, and it's it's pretty good rig. We're going to tell you kind of what you're getting. I ended up buying the pole kit, the floor, the stove, mat, and everything with it, Just and I think it's going to save you time. By the time you go spend $100 to buy a conduit, and the pole kit was like $250, I think, and I didn't have to worry about going and cutting, and they're already got the little spring-loaded pinchers in there to poke in the holes, and everything worked out good. You can see this is the pole holders right here. Then this is the stove mat. This thing is made out of some kind of a real thick, heavy, it's supposed to be fire-retarded stuff. Uh, can you hear me okay, I wonder, with that lawnmower running? This here is the bag for all of the angles that they give you. This is the bag for the tent. Seems like it's got plenty of room in the tent bag and you ain't got to worry about trying to stuff it in there. The directions was in the very bottom of the bag. We didn't find them until we pulled the tent completely out of the bag. Uh, the stakes, very heavy stakes. These things are made out of a piece of one inch angle iron with a head welded on them and you, we drove them with a big sledgehammer and it didn't bend them or anything so it does have some good stakes with it. I ended up buying the floor as well. This thing is made out of some kind of a extra heavy rubber tarp material. You can hear it's heavy. The thing probably weighs 20 pounds. You can see it kind of, it's, it's pretty heavy. That's everything that I got. The tent itself, my biggest concern, I helped the guy put a tent up last year in Colorado, and his stay, or his uh, poles were made out of about inch or inch and a half stuff, and I wrote in my notes that I would want to get like a two inch pole. So when he told me that this is only three quarter inch pole, I was pretty concerned thinking that ain't gonna be near stout enough. However, once we started putting this thing together the way that they engineered it, this thing is actually pretty stout. It could probably still be an inch or maybe even an inch and a half, but it's pretty stout. What makes it stout is the cable system. And you can see that there's very little tension in this cable right now. But now if you put snow load on this tent, all oh, it's gonna be equally distributed. When you pull straight down on this, look how much tighter this is getting. It's like guitar string tight, just with a little pull down. So it's designed that the more load that you pull down on it, it stretches out on these cables and pulls down here and it, just, and it gets stronger and stronger the more load that's on the top of it. The other thing that makes this one stouter, the only tent that I found out of all the ones I looked at, I probably looked at 10 different tent companies. It's the angles around the floor and they, they actually put this bottom piece with the angles on the floor all the way around. Well, that really stiffens the whole thing up a whole lot. We went ahead and color coded all of ours, red, green, white, blue and yellow at the top, black at the bottom, where that it's simple to put together in the dark and cold when you're out there. The other thing that I liked about this tent is, and they talk about these, is these vent system to where that you can kind of let a breeze get in there if it gets too hot or get some smoke in there, some bacon smell, or whatever, you can open the top of the thing and let it kind of air out. Also, you got six windows. Any other tent company, they're gonna charge for that. I ended up getting the, the screen door on the front of this one. The screen door is made out of some pretty good stuff. Uh, the zippers, they're all pretty uh, heavy made too. I noticed that everything is double stitched. It seems to be, uh, See how stout them zippers are? That's a big steel, sure enough, big zipper. I mean, that's a big stout zipper that you're not going to tear out without really getting on it. You can see here that everything is double stitched. Uh, lastly is the material itself. It does feel like a normal canvas, but they say it's a synthetic canvas. It's not like a cotton canvas. I think this is like a 
polyester or a nylon canvas and they say that it's stouter as far as tensile strength pulling or ripping and they say it's also more mildew resistant and things like that but right now I can't tell that it's anything wrong with it the thing is heavy I mean the poles and the tent and all that one man can't pick up the tent with the poles on top of it I mean the thing is probably who knows 125 30 pounds you could pick it up but you'd hurt your back we picked it up in the bag with the tent then carried the poles all in that and one big sack and a different different uh, run other than that I can't think of anything else Is there anything else you can think of we need to mention we don't know what the D-rings are on the top of the tent for. There's some D-rings up there we haven't quite figured out. But these side, these side rings here, those are built really stout. You can see how they got that X-stitched with a good stout rope with these little uh, wood tighteners, tensioners. And you can see how, I mean, we pulled that, we pulled that pretty tight. It worked out pretty good. I mean, that's putting quite a bit of pressure on it pulls all the wrinkles out of it. I don't think you can beat it for the money. This is a 13 by 24 is what this one is with the stakes and the poles and the everything shipping and included. I had like $1,650 in it and that's that's cheaper than any other one I could find by probably four or five or $600. That's all I got.